Alright, now we have two decks of cards left. So this time we can go left or right. Which one can you take? We're going to the left side. Jordan's going to go ahead and open the deck here. We have Brian, our IT manager, who's a top security right here. He has made sure that no one has touched these cards at all. Now, Debbie, we're going to cut this deck anywhere you like. There we go. That is a good cut. We got, we got some of these cards here for Jordan. Who's going to take them? And she's going to place the top five cards onto your card shark board. While Jordan is placing those cards, decision time. The ace in your deck is it the highest card or the lowest card? Aces are high. Got the top five cards right up there. Jordan's gonna go ahead and throw those back. You never know when we might need those cards there on top. So, rules again. You start at 300. You're guaranteed that as a prize. This card is on me. It is a seven. So, it's free. You, you got a shot anyway. For $600, is your next card higher or lower than a seven? Looking at the crowd here. What do you guys think? Higher or lower than seven? We're going. Let's go. We're going higher than a seven for six hundred dollars. We got a queen. Queen is a good one. They did say aces are high, so you can take six hundred dollars. We can quit right now. I can go on break, I heard this a food. Or, we can continue to play. If you play and you get this one right, we're going for $1,200. However, again, if you are incorrect, you go back to the 300 that we started with. We're going to play for $1,200. This card is lower than a queen. It is a two. Now, let me do some quick peat map for you. Normally my math person Liam over there. There's no cards that are lower than a two. Would you like to play? We're gonna play, and we're gonna go higher than the lowest card in the entire deck for $2,400. An ace. An ace. Now, Debbie, let me do some more beat math for you. There's no cards that are higher. 